Hey YouTube, today I'd like to talk over the communications compartment for my new bug out bag. As a lot of you know, I'm currently doing a redesign of my bug out bag, and I have everything organized into different compartments. So today I'd like to talk over the communications compartment. What I mean by communications is uh, ways of communicating back and forth between myself and people that are with me, for example my wife and kid, or anyone else that I, that I meet along the way, maybe a family member, and then also communicating with the outside world, so getting information uh, from the outside world and also maybe signaling them if I'm in, in case of emergency if I, need, if I need help. So what I have here on the table is I have a, some, of, some of the basic items that you'll see in a lot of people's emergency uh, supply kits or bug out bags. Uh, so, so some of them here are some uh, these are chem lights that are little, uh, you see them at concerts a lot where they, people break them and, and you have a little chemically activated light that lasts for around 12 hours. I have a flashlight here, uh, a radio, a spare cell phone battery, a whistle, and a signaling mirror. So I'm going to have most of these items here. I'm, I'm not going to have the specific brands of some of these, uh, but I just want to go over these first. I, I, I have a whole bunch of these uh, chem lights. I'm not sure how I'm gonna, how many I'm going to store, but they're so light. Uh, I'm going to have a few of them in there. Uh, this is this is actually the radio I have in my EDC backpack. It's a Sony. I got it from Amazon. Uh, it works really well. I use it for to make. listen listening to sports talk radio a lot. So uh, I kind of like to have this. I'm also debating whether to get a different model. I know Countycom has one. Uh, it's, it's fairly small. It's probably smaller than this one. I've also been kind of debating whether to get um, it's a, a handheld scanner. So for uh, monitoring police and fire signals, weather transmissions, ham radio bands. Uh, so I'm kind of debating whether I should go that route or not. Um, of course, that's going to be a little bit more expensive than what this is. It's only ten bucks. So uh, I, I'm, but, uh, this is a section that I'm hoping to get some input from some of the viewers that have more experience with the, with the handheld scanners, because I have none. So and any kind of input you might have on that would be appreciated. Uh, this is a, just a spare cell phone battery. Uh, I don't have an iPhone. I have a, this is a HTC Pure. But anyway, a fully charged spare battery just in case I'm not able to charge my, my cell phone. Uh, I have a whistle included here. I also have another uh, another c couple other whistles in the communications pack that I'll talk about later. This is a Mini Fox 40. I have one of these on my keychain as well. So I, I actually have a lot of whistles <laughs> now that I think about it. Um, but yeah, that signaling is something I'd like to have. Uh, flashlight. This isn't the flashlight I was gonna. I'm like I'm gonna have in it. This is just one that I keep on my desk. I really like the the Phoenix LD20 that I have in my EDC backpack. So. I think I'm going to have to splurge and buy another one of these guys because I still want to have this on my EDC. But it's extremely bright flashlight. I, I like having flashlight contests with people that I run into. And this usually wins unless I run up, to, uh, run into someone with a surefire or something. But uh, yeah, this is a really great one that I like. And I would like to include, uh, there's an accessory kit, a Phoenix accessory kit that has a, the lantern, the white lantern. It also has an orange one and a couple other. Uh, heads for on top of this flashlight. So these are all things I could use for either lighting the, an area that I'm in, whether it, uh, for shelter or for also communicating. Lastly, on here I have, I'm going to move everything out of here, is the signal mirror. And this is a, this topic I'm a little torn, torn on because uh, everyone has one of these and uh, I know that they're, uh, they're worthwhile but I'm still kind of debating whether they're how worthwhile they are in an urban environment. Uh, I'm going to show you outside my window really quick. So sorry, I'm on the tripod. But you can look outside here and look at all the cars, windows, uh, mirrors that are on the cars. Uh, a lot, a lot, a big part of me is kind of debating whether this little signal mirror is going to be noticed in uh, in a you know an area in an urban environment. So, let me put the tripod back. Sorry. So, I wanted some other options. So, first uh, I went with... This is an Orion Pocket Rocket. It's a four, it's a, there's a four-pack of aerial signal kits. Basically... Open this up. It's a little pen launcher. You, you've probably seen these on some other videos. Uh, nothing Fancy has it in his... Uh, Urban survival kit, and there's others. Basically, you put this little, uh, it's basically a flare that goes in there. You shoot it up. It goes around 150, maybe 300 feet if you're lucky, 
and I have a four pack of those. I got this in a at a fishing supply store. That a lot of boats are all required to have a certain amount of signaling methods. So I did a lot of research on uh, the different kind, types of signaling methods that that they have, and I wanted to incorporate that into my kit. So right off the bat, I, especially at night, <laughs> this would be a lot better than having a flashlight and a signal mirror. This would be uh, preferred, and this also works in the daytime as well. Another method I have for signaling is this is a, a marine it's a smoke signal it this thing shoots out orange smoke big clouds of it so and it's especially useful in the day daytime uh, it only burns for a minute but it it uh, gives off a lot of smoke that a uh, uh, different uh, boaters and stuff are required to have these on there so i wanted something for the day uh, for daylight especially for signaling that would, might be a little bit better than this I know that uh, if there was a helicopter ahead of me and I was, I don't know, hurt under some kind of rubble, you know, I could try doing this, see if I get his attention, but I'm pretty sure that they would see this a lot better than they would see that. So, see a big cloud of orange smoke. This thing weighs about seven ounces or so. I, I might get a second one, I'm not sure if space permits, or I might just put a second one in my wife's uh, bug out bag. In addition to that, I wanted to also add something for night. So I added, uh, this is a handheld marine red signal flare. So all of these kind of go together. Uh, this one, you, you strike it and basically you have a, a very bright flare that you could use for signaling. So perhaps in an emergency situation, I would shoot one of these up and hopefully get their, immediate, their first attention. And then having this would, would uh, you know, I could, uh, uh, what's the word? <laughs> I could signal them a lot, a lot better than I could maybe even with a flashlight. So I included that as well. If you go to one of your uh, fishing supply stores, you could get a, a, a manual on a lot of the different signaling methods that they have. And I, was, I had got a lot of influence off of that. I haven't seen that in a lot of bug out bags, so I'm curious what your thoughts are on that. All right, next, if, in addition to the, the flashlight, I also wanted to include a headlamp. This is a, a Petzl Tika XP2. And I've, it's it's very light and uh, it gets a lot of great reviews. I, I've been pretty happy with it so far. I've done limited testing on it. With all of these, I'm going to have to also have some spare batteries. So I, I a while back I purchased a lot of lithium batteries when there was a sale. So I have several packs of these. So I'm going to be sure to include backup batteries for all of the items that I have that require them. Also included. I wanted to include a safety vest. This is one that hunters use. Uh, I'm not uh, that happy with this exact model of it. I would prefer to have something that has a reflect the yellow reflecting uh, strips on there. Uh, but this is just what I have at least for now. I'll probably return this in if I find one that's uh, more of my liking. Here's another item. Uh, I know I have a whistle already and I already have a flashlight, but if I'm with someone else that doesn't have one, I wanted to give them at least some capabilities, although minor, uh, to be able to signal with. So they, I included this small little LED light and as well as an emergency whistle, and it's tied on this uh, necklace that I, I had for work. So this is basically pieced together for almost free. But I wanted to have two of these so I could hand those out to people in my party. So this will, uh, let's see, one more. I have uh, this GPS. This is not what I'm going to be using. I would prefer to have uh, a handheld model. I, I'm really happy with Garmin Maps, but uh, I'm looking at the Garmin GPS Map 60 CSX handheld GPS navigator. Uh, I'm pretty new to the handheld GPS uh, devices, so if, you, if anyone has a real good recommendation on what, I'd, I'd like to hear it because... Uh, it's something I'm not as familiar with, so I'm kind of just basing it off of reviews and from uh, recommendations from other people. But I would like to have a dedicated GPS on it, so if you have any recommendations, please let me know. Some other miscellaneous items in here I have. Uh, this is extremely cheap. I don't even know if I'm going to have it. But I got this from my wedding reception, and it's uh, just a little LED. It's a uh, You pull on this, the string here, and this thing lasts like, I don't know, three days or something, and I had about 80 of them uh, for my reception, so I took several of them and I decided I was going to include them in my bob, so if I didn't want to use this this lantern here in, in, in a tent or in the shelter, I might just attach this and it'd be a good throwaway thing that I wouldn't have to waste any batteries on. 
Something else I'm debating on, use, on adding is a laser pointer. Uh, it has a little red dot on it. These uh, I haven't seen anyone else use one of these yet in the videos. But at nighttime, I could you know I, I often enjoy just shining this out and you know you could point it at houses several you know blocks away and you could see the the red light. So I was thinking that might be a good option for a signaling uh, method at nighttime. It also has a little flashlight on there too. I was also toying with the idea of maybe having it on this lanyard instead of the this little cheapy light here. But this I got, I, I bought five of these a while back for playing with my dog and uh, she likes chasing this around. So it's basically a free for this kit. One last thing I was kind of debating on was uh, including a backup cell phone. I have this cheap little, this is a little Motorola, Motorola it's a i425, it's extremely old. But what I've actually used this for, I have I have this in my car and I on here, I, there's some software that I installed. It's a, it's a tracking software. So basically, I could do live GPS tracking of where I'm at. And so I have this in my car. So if I'm driving out of town and my wife wants to know where I'm at, she could go to this uh, site. It's called instamapper.com. And as long as I have this program running on here, she'll be able to see kind of monitor where I'm at and, you know, how fast I'm going. And it, it updates, you know, every 10 seconds or so. So she could she have a good idea of uh, where I'm at if I'm going to be home soon. And so I was considering having, you know, having one of these prepaid cards in there with a backup cell phone. Uh, this could be used as a cell phone and for for tr uh, monitor tracking myself. So if I had someone perhaps in a different state that had uh, internet access and was able to kind of monitor where I was at, someone that's a, I'd have to integrate them into my bug out plan, uh, would be able to follow me in my party uh, with this kind of device. So it's just something I'm toying with. I, I, I don't know if I'm going to use it or not because, you know, it's a, I'm going to need to have a, f a way of charging it. That's another thing I was, I need to still figure out is some kind of charging device for a lot of these uh, items like cell phones and the GPS that charge through a, a USB mini. So I was kind of debating on different solar uh, charging methods and other options. So. If anyone has uh, something that they really like, that's another item I need to get, add to my shopping list. So, uh, also, what I need to also add is uh, uh, two-way radios. I don't have any currently. I, I used to, I, but I, I've sold them on eBay over the years. So I'm kind of eyeballing the Motorola. Motorola, it's an MH230R uh, two-way radio. I haven't made the purchase on it yet on Amazon. I kind of have it selected. But if anyone has a... Uh, some two-way radios that they really recommend, uh, that would be appreciated. Instead, of, uh, Another option I was also thinking about was instead of getting the two-way radios, I'm getting uh, UHF two-way radios, which would be a lot better in an uh, urban environment. The only, thing, the only problem I have with it, besides it being a little bit more expensive, is uh, that it requires a license for the FCC, and I don't know if I really want to invest in that kind of license. I think it's a 10-year license and maybe 400 bucks or something like that from whatever I had. So that's something with, I'm, I'm debating on. But I know that it, uh, with buildings and with a lot of different things that could block the signal, having a, a, a UH, UHF radio would be a lot preferred than the little Motorola Cheapo one. So uh, that's currently what I'm looking at for my communications compartment. If anyone has any other recommendations on items that I should include, I would uh, greatly appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you later.